Yeah, all right. We are back, and, uh... It's Celadon. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. So we can either go out in the grass out here and just grind regular level 18 Pokemon to get Kurama up a bit, or we can keep doing the trainer thing we've been doing and go down into the rocket hideout. What do you think? It's about giving Kurama at least to 20 since they're level 18 and we can handle those in the area pretty easily. Fair enough. And then we, that way I feel more confident dealing with rockets. One thing that I was concerned about here is that if we kill... Do we, do we just want to write this one off? Because I don't know of any duplicates we want here. Because, yeah, the only thing we could duplicate would be Bellsprout, which we've got our um, a Weeping Bell going. Yeah. Volpex, which we're still leveling. Um, Meowth, which is, if need be, we can make into a Persian. And uh, I think it was Pidgey was the other one, which uh, I don't eh. think anyone going to trade. I just kill off this route. Make it a level up murder route. Yeah. Painting these fields red. Cool beans. Freaking payday, man. Surprisingly painful. Mm hmm. Whoa. Okay then. That's a little too late for that. Growls of pain. We did kind of light it on fire. Just a little on fire, though. I mean, you can't be that mad at us. It does bother me, though, that if a Pokemon in the wild uses Payday against you, you can't pick up the coins, only during a battle. Yeah. Come on. Uh, careful. Yeah. Switch out. Uh, oh, poor Jesus. Yeah. It'd be useful backup in case worst case scenario happens with the Karama. Okay. Well. Fortunately, the Pokemon Center's right here. That's another reason I like, you know, the little grind here. It's really fast turnaround, you know, top things off. Okay. This is a weird thought having to, you know, grind for Pokemon because, you know, in the Nuzlocke it makes sense, you have to get the Pokemon up, you can't just let them fight to the point of unconsciousness just to get some free XP. Yeah. Hey. Easy XP. I think Bell Sprouts are a high value target as well. Uh, yeah, more... God damn it. More XP, yeah. Do you have an awakening? Uh, yes, we do. Can't wait till we get the Pokey Flu. You bitch! You absolute bitch. It's like he knew! Die and get away from me. Eighteen. Yeah. It's time, but time we have. Yeah. Oh, where were we talking about last time? I know we were talking about food and terrible food, delicious food, and punching food. Oh, that was a couple of episodes ago. Um. Hell, I don't remember. It's been so long, like an entire day. It's lost. I've slept since then. I don't know. What do you want to talk about now? Same thing we talk about every Nuzlocke, Jeremy. I didn't take we take over the world! Okay. I don't know, I didn't think I'd ever talked about that before. Everyone's like, No! Oh. No! God damn it! You bitch! At least we can't get poisoned while we're asleep. But now it's not going to use poison powder. It's gonna. Oh, it's the AI. Okay. But, as long as the AI is stupid. Stay stupid. Don't stop being stupid. Dare to be stupid. That's not too terrible. 
just gotta wake up. Wake up, for Christ's sake. Oh, hey, I think these are just the right level that they've... That, that, that they've screwed off their vine whip. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's weird. Anyways, um... Not remembering things reminded me about, uh, Reddit posts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not remembering things reminded me of something. That's excellent. I'm sorry, right, please continue. I'm going to wisp it real quick while we solve the accuracy so you get that burn. Fair enough. That reduces his attack. But anyways, there's this guy who posted in Reddit about the fact that he actually posted our legal advice because he found post-it notes all around his house and telling him to do things, and he didn't remember putting them up, but he was really oh, yeah. concerned. The carbon monoxide guy. Yeah! That was really interesting, and literally saved someone's life because, like, dude, like, memory loss, like, a sign of carbon monoxide poisoning, assuming where you live, and he missed, like, yeah, he turned off the auditors really early on, and I messed with that shit. And you know, the reveal that holy shit, he's been leaving the notes for himself this entire time. Feels this thing like right out of a horror movie. Oh yeah. No, that's pretty cool. And it actually goes a long way. Um, yeah, you know, one, it is really cool that that just somebody online was thoughtful enough to be like, hey, I, I'm really worried. You should really look into this because what you're describing and what what you're talking about feeling sounds a lot like this. You know, life threatening thing. And it saved that guy's life. But it also goes to show, like, a lot of our um, horror stories and uh, scary shit, myth, uh, of myth and legend and stuff like that, almost all of it was because of just weird mental things. Um, you know, like, uh, like sleep paralysis. You know, the whole concepts of uh, the, the, you know, there's a, a monster in, in mythology, the chest. witch, that, yeah. The witch that comes and sits on your chest and sucks your soul out. Like that, yeah. Yeah. Um, is because people would wake up in the middle of a, you know, would become conscious while still no, paralyzed for sleep and can't make their lungs work the same way it used to. And they feel like their chest is being squeezed. So naturally, the brain concocts a reason for why it's happening because you don't know. And the first thought is, Demon Witch on my chest! Yep. I remember um, in Brazil there was a thing about um, witches that stole penises and men would mm. legitimately think their penis was missing or had been reduced in size. Fuck you! Because a witch had stolen a part of it. <laughs> like, it was a legit psychological issue where they would insist they have no dick because a witch stole it even though it's clearly right there. Really? That's... That's real weird. It's amazing what the human brain will rationalize. Huh. Huh. Okay. Boy, that's mm -hmm. odd. But you know, uh, the the whole succubus and incubus thing kind of kind of come from the same aspect. Yeah. Um, you know, it's like, uh, it's like waking up to a sleep, you know, it's like having a sleep paralysis episode during wet dream. Basically. <laughs> Is where Succubi came from. Literally, this demon is trying to seduce me with his lust powers. That's why I'm coming and I can't breathe. I'm dying and coming at the same time. It must be a demon. It must not be the fact that my lungs aren't working normally and I was just dreaming about sex. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, back in those days, those are bad thoughts. You had to suppress. Yeah. To be fair, there's a lot of people say that now as well, but now we understand that we're horny animals and we like to sex. <laughs> so whether we hate that part of ourselves or not, <laughs> okay, let's um, it's gonna happen. And it's not because of demons jerk you off in your sleep. Not unless you ask you some really scary neighbors. Okay. Ugh. You uh, but. There was, um, once again, thank you, Reddit, a post about, you know, a, uh, who apparently had had someone break into their house and was, uh, fondling the guy, the neighbor, uh, she, uh, 
accordingly had the uh, wandering, you know, uh, not just sleepwalking, but extreme sleepwalking, like would go out door and away. Right. And had apparently sleepwalked into his this guy's house, broken into the window, like uh, picked the lock on the door to get into the back door, and was jerking this guy off. And they couldn't ever prove she didn't do it on purpose, or she did because she had record recorded uh, bouts of this stuff. Mm -hmm. But like, I think it was once he suddenly showed up like our legal life, like. Do I have any legal recourse on this? Can I, you know, prove that she just, like, I know she has the hot to me. It's creepy. She's always staring at me. I don't like it. And then I wake up to this one night. That's really fucking creepy. Mm-hmm. Like, that, buh. Did we miss Will-O-Wisp? Yes. I would, uh, switch out. Yeah, I intend to. I think will miss. Uh, well... I guess we get sand attacked or anything? Technically anything can. Not recently. I don't know. That was weird. That was weird. Money! Ow. Fusion ought to do it. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. Man, I don't know. The, ma the brain can do some weird crap when you're asleep. I, I, some part of me feels like, because it can do some weird crap, but oh, I, you got to be pretty freaking lucid to pick a lock. But again, it's also difficult to say, you know, it's like, okay, are you sure the lock engaged all the way? Are you sure you remembered to lock that door? Mm -hmm. you know, are you sure you locked all your windows, too? You know, it's... Um, there's a lot of human error that goes into stuff like that. So that was the big thing that they couldn't prove, that he had completely locked the door, that she picked the lock to get in or gotten in somehow. <clears throat> there's no f obvious signs of forced entry, but like, uh, apparently the lock on his back door was an older lock, and you'll want to be an update, and then did have a dead bolts, just like the handle lock itself. Right. From our house, and those aren't the hardest to pick. No, they're not. But nor like the fine dexterity necessary to manipulate the tools to pick them. Um, you can't be in a non-lucid dream state and do that still, mm -hmm. um, because people that sleepwalk like that, they're not lucid. They're they're on autopilot. Right, but you can't pick a lot. Like, that takes some fine dexterity control, whether it's simple to do or not. Um, but, you know, like like we were saying, you can't really prove that he had 100% made sure that it was good. So it's a little 20. I said we go t handle to head towards Rocket after we roast the spell sprout. Yeah, works for me. Roast. Don't you dare. That's fine. Fuck it, we'll heal that. Yeah. Just that sleep bullshit. That's our trick. We're the... Damn it, now we sound like Bill Cosby. <laughs> just... About to say, we're the one who puts them to sleep and they capture them in their tiny balls. And yeah, that's... Never mind, Bill Cosby. <laughs> just don't. No, sorry. Forget it. Didn't happen. You put the boating in the pot. <laughs> Cause you see, when you put the rift more on the pool, and I can't tell the difference when they go zip a zip a Alright. Bill Cosby rape jokes. That's that's something I never thought you'd be able to make. I, I mean, you shouldn't anyway, probably. But, uh... We never said we were the classiest of jokesters. Um... But alright, let's kick the crap out of this guy, open up the base, and then we'll probably call it an episode. We'll start the next one with diving down in. Land down under. Exploring the basement. Alright, yeah, that's not worth the... that. Eradicate stab. Yeah. This clears glass cannon. Either Lily or uh Yeah, I'll go ahead and Lily's the tanky one. Yeah. Well she's got the the double kick as well. Yep. Ooh, scary. Booga booga. Stupid dog made me look bad. Woohoo. 
Yeah, I've been 20 damage with, uh, without all her defenses. Yeah. She's stage 3. I put in like a solid 40 plus on, uh, her little fox. Yeah, no, there's a reason we switched. Fucking Zubats. Squish. I love the idea Lily just like leaps into the air, like just the dark shadow grows over the Zubat who can't see anything. <laughs> And it's like, what, what, why is everyone gasping? What's about to happen? Yeah, pretty much. A switch behind the poster. Let's at least head down and take a look around. We got about five minutes to kill a little time. Okay. Take a look at this secret underground base. Thank God we can run in here. Woo! Yeah, they're, they're, they're probably not jokes we should make all that much. But, uh, yeah, that's one of those things. Like, <sighs> I'm trying to think of another one, but... So one recently for the well, Papa apparently accused, accused Morgan Freeman. Yeah, I heard of that, but on a certain level, Morgan Freeman's in his 60s. You know, and nobody, and they accused him of uh, using inappropriate words. Mm -hmm. um, is the one that I read, and it's like, I, it's like, all right, poison psychic. Is Chelsea poison? Or no, it's just psychic. Like, he just gets poison gas and such. Yeah, but Bite will still mess up his day. She's ground poison. Mmm, I thought it was ground normal now. No, she's ground poison. Oh. Oh well. I mean, she's also our tank. Yeah. But. She does have the best special defense up there with um, Miss Cleo. Jesus? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Ooh, so angry. Um, but yeah, from what I understand, uh, or at least from, from one of the ones that I read, it was, there were accusations of inappropriate words, like, like, speaking to them inappropriately. Yeah. Not any actual, no. like, physical molestation or anything like that, just, like, sexual harassment, which, at a certain point... It's Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman is old as fuck. If you have ever met a man that old, they don't they don't speak to anybody appropriately. They're old. It was hey sugar, nice ass, how get me coke was like the normal language in their time. And that doesn't make it okay. But that also like it, but that's also incredibly different from all the things it was being equated to with the um, Me Too movement and all that. Mm -hmm. So, which I did, I do feel, you know, which I feel was 100% necessary, but also did get very overblown in a lot of ways. Yeah. Like, there there were a few people that got caught up in it where, like, once it was looked into, it was like, nothing they did should be included with, you know, the person who, like, he put his hand, like, like literally forcefully. What the hell was yeah, that? Yeah, tail whip the hyper fang. <sighs> yeah, one tail whip should not have made that kind of difference. Stab. But you know what? Tom Hanks, still nice guy. Yeah, Tom Hanks is still covered. Nobody, uh, nobody doesn't like Tom Hanks. <laughs> I mean, you have to be a monster to try to accuse Tom Hanks of anything. Which is why he is secretly the worst out there. That would be <laughs> horrifying to find out, like, after Tom Hanks dies. Like, he's keen jelly bean or some shit. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. He just, he, like, his. Uh, yeah, King jelly bean's a little far. Um, but yeah, uh, no, that was, like, to find out. An example, yeah. To find out that he was, like, his, his, you know, normal persona for people was so spotless that nobody could, nobody would come forward because. Who would believe them? Yeah, I mean, well, I, ahead and, but then again, the people said the same thing about Bill Cosby. It was just enough people came forward that, that at a certain point it was like, okay, we can't, no, we can't One ignore is chance, this. One chance, two is happenstance, 30 women who all say he did this to them. That's, um, hard to ignore. I mean, I'm even willing to say that, like, three might be, um, might be somebody... You know, trying to, trying to, trying to bandwagon into something, yeah, but 
but you're right. Like more than more than ten? There's no there's not even a question anymore. It's just, you just have to look on in horror. Mm-hmm. Um But uh but it, it, that's also I mean it's hard to say that even one is chance. I mean it could be. Yeah. Unfortunately it could be. But it's just the same. Yeah. Either way, it is time for us to wrap this up, so we'll pick it up next time in the game corner, plowing pl- through hopefully waves of rockets and not as many radicates, because I think uh, Kurama should be able to handle like the Zubats and most other things. It's just those radicates and that stupid stab. Yeah, they <coughs> are they are the most dangerous at the moment. Yeah. But anyway, we'll be back. We'll see you tomorrow, next time, whenever the video comes out. Depends on what day of the week this falls on. Eventually, with more Leaf Green shenanigans. Cause you see, you got subscribe with the shenanigans. Yeah, and we're gonna talk about less fucked up things, but hopefully. Bye. Bye. <laughs>